is Hans, and it's time for another episode of Instant Noodle Recipe Time. This is the show where I show you what to do with your noodles. And it's crazy because I haven't done an episode of this in, I want to say, like at least three weeks. Uh, I've been working on top ten lists, and it's been absolutely crazy and insane. But spring break's over, life's back to normal, things are doing better. And we are going to have the first one be something new from the US this is from a company called instant spreads and this is their original mix so spreads are basically like a community meal that people generally have in prisons so they get like a bunch of the commissary foods like beef sticks and squeezy cheese and some like mayo and junk and then they have uh, instant noodles and pork rinds and flaming hot Cheetos and stuff like that. Well, this one is crushed noodles, hot chips, and pork rinds. So we're gonna give this a try. This is like, basically, you can enjoy a prison style spread without the hassle of going to prison, which is kind of nice. I don't, I don't want to, and I'm sure most folks don't enjoy the prison. So what you do is you crack this sucker open. Uh, it's generally not hard to do if you know how to do things. Uh, there we go. And it's a zipper bag. So you unzip it. And then you add boiling water in here without making a huge mess. And then you zip it up for three to I'll give it a little bit of a swizzle. And it says three to five minutes. I'm gonna let it do the full five just to be Just to make sure it gets all done up nice. But yeah, this is pretty neat packaging for such a thing. And it's even got a window in the back. You can see how it's progressing in its in its deal. So we'll see. That could there's really no uh, nothing there telling you exactly how much liquid to use. So this will either work out great or I put too much in. I don't know, but. It's a neat idea, and it's it's kind of like you could do all sorts of stuff with these. You could you could make like prison burritos with them. You could do all sorts of junk. But I've got some uh, excuse me some accoutrement to go with fancy nacho sliced jalapenos, a jalapeno stick o beef. Uh, was it? Uh, I, I, ah, boy, I should have done that a minute ago. I'll have to do this again. But basically, they mentioned this squeezy cheese. I just took a piece of Velveeta and threw it in the microwave for like maybe a couple seconds too long. And uh, then they mentioned crackers. They also mentioned throwing mayo in it. So we'll see how it goes. Um, I'll try it before I add anything to it, and then I'll throw all this junk in and give it a taste and see, tell you how I feel about it. This is what it looks like before. This is what it looks like before it's cooked. So basically you've got like Cheetos and pork rinds and all that good stuff. And you know what? I'll tell you right now, when I first was getting the images ready for this, uh, happening I uh, I just found myself inadvertently just going over them <laughs> it's really good straight just as like kind of a snack thing so there's that too but yeah we'll see how this ends up going how much time we got left I can tell you some weird stuff going on yeah we got a little while so as you guys know we all got well uh, you might not know we all got covid mid-january i ended up in the icu with blood clots my wife ended up with all this long haul stuff now it's the day after my top 10 list came out it's april 19th and 
she's finally, this is her first day back to work on a limited work schedule. Not only that, last week, out of nowhere, it's like Monday, she was fine. I mean, she was in a lot of pain, but she was fine, you know, no, nothing weird extra going on. And then woke, woke up in the morning, she was ready to go to a doctor's appointment, and she's like, I can't breathe. So I'm calling 911. They're showing up. They whisk her away. Uh, they kept her for two days. She had an inflamed lung. And they were like, we really don't know what exactly happened here, but it was like, it was bad. And she had a fever of like 103 and a half. And it was just like, whoosh. Ugh. But hopefully the universe has decided to turn a corner for us. So things will be getting better. But yeah. And it'll all start with some of this. <laughs> and I think I definitely, I think I probably put way too much water in there. I'm bummed. I hope, I hope it comes out good. I want it to come out really good. But we shall see. Boy, howdy. Um, what else is going on? <clears throat> Not a lot. Kids are back in school. Spring break is over. So, yeah. Things are good. Except for the weather. The weather sucks right now. Yeah. I decided to like completely ratchet back up my walking and my diet thing because it's like this whole thing post COVID has just been a bear and it's it's nice to sit at home and, and enjoy and be a del victim of deliciousness but uh, no more of that but yeah 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 let's see we've got seven seconds I'm gonna call that. So let's see what happens when I crack this sucker open. Did I put too much in? I hope I didn't. No, maybe not. No, I think this worked out. Doesn't look soupy. Wow. This is crazy business. The noodles definitely sucked up liquid. It's really hot. I'm going to give this a try. So here's what you end up with. Noodle chicaroni. I don't even know how to pronounce it. Noodles, pork rinds, and uh, corn puffs, aka not not corn nuts, but uh, kind of like Cheeto-y type things. Let's give it a try. It's not bad. It's not what... I wouldn't totally be like, this is the last thing I ever want to have in my life because it's so wonderful. But it's not bad. It's not as salty as I expected it either. I want to try another straight shot of that. I really like how the pork rinds play into it too. It kind of adds a little bit of extra something. Mm hmm Yeah, real stick to your ribsy kind of stuff. Okay, so I don't have any mustard. That's the only thing they did they, they showed that I don't have, but I'm gonna bring out the best foods. So let's put some of that in there. Because that's what they show doing it in the video, I swear to god. So we're gonna take some of that. I'm gonna stir it around. Let's try it with like, whoa, that's crazy. Whoa. That's not bad. Gee, how did I start this video? Yeah, I'm going back on my diet. <laughs> mm. I'm gonna throw in some jalapenos. I never use these things. 
but hey, it mentions them. I'm gonna give it the full authenticity kick. A bunch of them. It's a little spicy at least. We got hot sauce too. Let's throw hot sauce in there. Okay, so we got that. Then we got our beef stick. I'm sure a lot of you are gonna be like, oh my god, what are you doing? That's so gross. But it's like, no, honestly, this is like I gotta say, the ingenuity of people who are locked up is pretty amazing. You know, people will do what they gotta do with what they got. And when they do what they do with what they got and they come together, they end up with some pretty neat stuff. So these are things I almost never eat, these beef sticks they for some reason they give me migraines I, it's got to be one of the preservatives in them but they're generally pretty good all right that's enough of that let's give that all a big stir oh wow this is crazy looking okay that with a piece of jalapeno in it and stuff. Mm -hmm. The beef stick totally works. I'm gonna heat the cheese up again. Wow, that's really not bad. Okay, let's get to plating. Let's plate this sucker nice. All right, we there? That looked good. Yeah, that's pretty central. Let's put a bunch in here. That's a lot of it, too. It's kind of like, almost like a, a dip. It's, it's interesting. Wow, oh, this didn't work out so great. I thought it would. Oh, it's leaky, too. I'm gonna have to go that direction. Come on. Yeah, it was a nice thought. <laughs> now it's on my fingers. Oh, come on. Well, there's some cheese on there. I really wanted more out of that. And what else? Um, hot sauce. This is the one I, this is my go-to, Cholula chili garlic. Throw some of that on top. That. I'm going to mention scooping it up with crackers. I've got some of these club crackers here. I'm really not going to. I'm trying to get rid of stuff out of the pantry that I'm not really going to be eating that much anymore. And this is totally a perfect use of these. We'll make it all nice and nice. I guess technically you could also like crunch them up and put them over it. And I think honestly, I 
because I just never can resist. Here's some spring onion on top. For some reason, I just have to do spring onion on everything. Usually mung bean sprouts, but no, not on, no mung bean sprouts on this. That would be kind of really weird. All right. Wow, what an interesting thing. Oh, cool! Yeah, um, let me take a couple beauty shots of this thing, and I'll be right back. All right, well, I'm gonna give it a try this this way. This this sounds really fascinating. Let's give it a go. Cheers. Wow. I have no complaints about that. Except I didn't get any jalapeno in that bite. But yeah, it all works together really well. Look at that. Hmm. What a trip. Wow. It's really not bad. I, I, if you can find this stuff, you got to give it a try. Um, big shout out to Big Tiny. Thank you very much for sending this product over. This has been really fascinating, and I hope you come out with new varieties. It'd be cool if you came out with like a super spicy one. I don't know. I don't know if that's something that's done. But uh, yeah, cool. All right, this has been Hans the Ramen Raider wishing you enjoyment of your noodles each and every day. Next episode you're going to see is going to have this Thai Sim. This is a boat noodle instant rice vermicelli with spicy herb soup. So until then, have a good one. Bye-bye.